Right, uh, they will not uh, give you a, a warning or otherwise tell you to uh, do anything about the motor. If you are under the weight, it's irrelevant of its possible uh, effect on filling the vehicle with fuel or any other items. It isn't based on the potential, it has to be based on the physical on the day. So uh, no, no problem with that one. This is the reason I ask people to do three weights, is the front axle, back axle, and the overall weight. And uh, as the pads that we actually use, that's done specifically on the axle. You can roll on, and this is only the front axle it's taking account of on the weight. I appreciate on a flat platform weigh bridge as to when you're rolling on, if you're more than, say, halfway there, you're putting some of the rear weight on there as well. So the reason for getting these three weights is to go away, have a look at the figures, and say, how did they compare? If they're they're giving above um, the gross vehicle weight total, the, the full vehicle weight, then you'll know that you've got the worst case figures front and rear. I, I can only say you can check those weights. We've done it in different directions before. So rolling the vehicle on, if there's an incline to the weigh bridge, taking it in both directions, uh, just to try and reduce any, uh, I suppose, tolerances in those weights. The previous allowance for drivers um, that had the, the initial C1 plus E before 1997 was that you had a combined allowance up to eight and a quarter. That figure is still retained afterwards. However, you are restricted, of course, to what the, the plate says the, the motor is capable of towing. But no, the, the having a reduction in gross vehicle weight to the three and a half does not affect your towing allowance. But make sure you refer to the correct weight on the plate, of course, because again, be it you're at three and a half ton on the gross vehicle weight, you may find the train weight showing 5.5, five, for instance, giving you two ton of towing. Some people have come to me and believed that they were allowed to tow 5.5 five on the back end, not that it was the difference between the two. So just check those weights. And again, making sure you look at the right plate. You're going to see a lot new, uh, more on the newer motorhomes where motor, motorhome manufacturers put a lower towing allowance than the base vehicle manufacturer. And the reason behind that is that the, the back end isn't usually say Fiat's, it's usually an Alco back end and the extension on the back of it's been bolted on. So they've reduced the, uh, I suppose, the, the weaknesses of, that have come into play on the, the motorhome have essentially reduced your towing allowance at the same time. There was some uh, talk of us having an increased weight to 4,500 kilos. Uh, I only know it's hearsay. I haven't seen anything as a definite. And the usual time period for those is once it becomes a consultation document is that there's at least a, another two to five year time period before that comes into play. So nothing I can confirm on that one now. Well, if, you, if you're at 4.2, 4.250 at the moment and you're bringing it down to the 3.5 tonne, essentially 750 kilos of payload you're going to lose in bringing that down. Now, if you're telling me you had 600 kilos of payload before you downrated, you, you will actually be overloaded when you yeah. came down. You, you couldn't downrate the vehicle, unfortunately. And that's becoming all too much of a problem these days that uh, a lot more of the newer motorhomes are weighing so much empty that downrating to 3.5 tonne it just isn't an option for you, unfortunately. On commercial vehicles being more of a problem as well is that seems to be a, a little bit of a trick that people will use on the way to the Weybridge. Um, any fluids they can lose on the, on the way or things that they can remove if they believe they're overloaded, yes they will do so, but coming back to the allowance for uh, the enforcement side, you've got that 5% allowance without a, a prosecution. They will give you guidance into saying you need to reposition the weight. It's usual, and again, I'm starting seeing more motorhomes now with extended overhangs with the bikes uh, being put on the back end. And ultimately in doing this, which is why this weight calculator we've produced comes uh, into a good play, is that in putting, say, 80 kilos on the back end of a, a motorhome, the actual effect on the rear axle can be uh, 100, 120 kilos because of the distance from the back axle that uh, that load's being put. Uh, in doing so, yes, you are lifting the front axle as well. So you are still committing an offence in regards to the, the rear axle being overloaded. Uh, 
depending on where the water tank's positioned, and again, if it's central, on it, the, going into the weight calculator, if you treated the, the figures you use as a base for the empty the vehicle without the water on board, and it will allow you then to say the water tank is positioned at this distance from whatever, front axle or back axle, and start adding the weight in to see where your cutoff point is. Uh, I do have people changing water tanks on motorhomes to cover a, a larger area, covering more of the front axle to try and cater for that. The standard Mercedes suspension is the leaf spring on the rear and strut on the front. So mm -hmm. the only way to, I suppose, balance the weight out, uh, if you're talking about the um, the stability control systems that the new yeah. Mercedes have. Uh, it depends if you have the load adaptive control system as well in there, which was an extra and quite a bit more of an extra, mm. which will actually sense individual um, deflection on the vehicle as well. But under braking, it, it doesn't really have much of a, an effect. To actually balance the weight out, my recommendation would be to use an air system of a fashion, whether that's rear axle or front axle, use an air assist kit to uh, allow you for biased pressures in the vehicle. Yeah. Uh, and that's more common on the back end of a motorhome where, again, we do have a lot of biased weight to one side. Mm -hmm. the, the air assist systems I showed there do allow you to bias the bag pressure from left to right to essentially balance the vehicle out. Mm -hmm.